Hey, it's High Cell here, and welcome back for our Let's Play Raymu 2 Lord of Maidens. So last time we had finished up their basically their hammer quest, the equivalent of Diablo, of uh, Vanilla Diablo, and now we're just pretty much trying to, pretty much trying to. Oh yeah, I need. I always forget. I always forget. That's not even the right number. Brilliant. Fantastic. And I guess I'll keep on pick up right now because I'm a bit too I'm too lazy. Last time we finished up, you you know, getting the door, getting the hammer thing, and now well, we just have to um, actually. Uh, actually, where is it? F yeah, F1. Yeah, I can dodge just right them. I'll just left click on them. It should be just as fine. Hey, man. Don't close the door on me, even though I'm the one who did it. So now we just have to, you know, go through this again and pretty much get to the kitchen, which is the equivalent of the jail. I can think of a few reasons why your jail is the kitchen. Um, for a few different reasons. M many reasons. I'm sure you guys can figure it out yourself. Especially con considering that. Remelia is a vampire. And even 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 though she supposedly eats lately, uh, you know how some of the um, darker fanfics tends to make her out to be. You know, you all seen those dark fics, Grim Derp, as some people like to call them. And we can just do this pretty much and hope it hits something. Shoot blindly, blind fire and always works. Or I can let Ellie take care of it. And she pretty much took care of it except for you. I'll just do this. Maybe I think I will level this up a bit. I mean, I'll just reset my skills later on when I actually have a reason to reset. I when I'm like level 30 something. Okay, I'm trying to pick this up. And now we're going to the kitchen. Level one, extremely large kitchen though. So that's a uh, that's like that's a very large kitchen with I think three floors. Also on the ground as well. There's guys in there. Also full of many secrets. Sky Devil Mansion has a very fantastic kitchen where they can, where they, it seems they hide their treasures in. I wonder, wonder why their treasure goes in the kitchen. Maybe, maybe because Saki is usually there to defend it. Well, that might be it. Though it doesn't really matter if the treasure is for her, because she can just easily stop time and go to wherever the person who's trying to actually, you know, take the treasure is. So theoretic, in theory, it wouldn't matter where they put their treasure, because Saki is already defended from no matter where. Look at a frog. Frogs are nice. I think we'll level up the frog, Suiko. Great goddess. We can do this to you. What, what level? 18? Okay, I'm gonna be leveling this up next anyway, so... Then I'm probably... In fact, I'm gonna level this up. I think I'm gonna level her up. Why not? I did I did not actually... I didn't realize that son, I could. I, sh I probably should have realized, but... I think I'm, the world build is gonna be like a, pretty much kind of like a summoner. Summoner Archer ish. Now we put two and two. One the bomb. And shoot you guys. Got Frog here, so we should be fine. He can. She can tank for us pretty much, and she can you do that. Which I remember when a uh, boss did that to me, it pretty much one shot me, so I hope um, um level one can do the equivalent. I don't know if um, level one can do it, but uh, I know uh. Probably how level one can one shot a player. Raves in the kitchen. I want a raise of what? And kill some more black cadavers. That's a, that's a lot of frogs. That's a lot of frogs indeed. Many frogs. Zuko summons all the frogs. Even though even though supposedly in the backstory. Damn, she was killed by Evo Sane. Possessed by, uh. Probably possessed. Maybe not. They never actually mentioned anything about soul, sto soul, soul stones or anything like that, so, um. Uh, I mean, that's what I, I speculate that she stuck a stone, soul stone in her head. That's why I speculate, or something like that. Never actually expl explicitly said, or not, not, not really implied at all. Um, I guess you can say it's sort of been implied, concerned that their backstory seems to be kind of Diablo 1. But at the same time, it's it's not really implied just there really was no way for them to get, you know. I mean they could get they probably could get the Diablo Soul Stone, but there was there was no way for them to really get um Mephistos and Battle Soul Stone, so maybe 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 it is completely not what I think it is. Maybe they were just corrupted by evil and um 
Soul stones were just so happened to exist. So happened to, you know, come out. Maybe, maybe soul stones are different in in total version, I don't know. Maybe maybe this maybe um, maybe they're just plot holes, maybe it's nothing something else. Doesn't really matter. Sacrifice some plot for game gameplay, um in a mod, I would consider that okay. In a, in a what well, a natural game, uh would I would I if I was making a game would I sacrifice game um plot for gameplay? That's a really hard question. I would not I don't wanna answer that. Really don't wanna answer that. I would I would not sacrifice graphics for gameplay, that's for sure. But it's hard to say what I would sacrifice and what I wouldn't wouldn't. I'm not a professional game maker. There's many things about games I like, many things about games I don't like. It's hard to say what I would and would not need, what I would make sacrifices for. I mean, I do like, I do want good gameplay. I also want a great soundtrack, a, a story, a nice story, and um, characters that you know that you pretty much fall in love with. It's also nice as well, the character um, player experience. I really tight. Okay, that's a lot of guys in there. Shoot, just shooting it here. Shoot blindly. Hit someone eventually. Hit you. Just fire randomly. I'm, okay. Frog doing the work. Should probably open the door. The, 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 let's see what code do some stuff inside. Get some kills. I mean, get some gold. Get some yen. Get a life fragment. I'm gonna drink some tea. Bit low on that. So, did I pick up the tea? No, I didn't. I pick up nothing. I'm not even gonna pick up the fake elixirs now. They're pretty much just wasting my time now, because I mean, I never actually use them. I just, you know, stockpile on them for absolutely no reason other than to have a large stockpile because I can. And you know, it's just wasting time, wasting your time to watch me pick up stuff that I'm never gonna use. Really, I don't think I don't think I should put you through that. Make some, make my own sacrifices. I can easily just find more if I really have to. I guess I'll guess I'll pick this up. And I guess I have nothing to identify exactly. Except that. I can drop the book because I'm not even gonna touch it. Ever again. Maybe open that chest. I will pick up the money though. Even though I'm fairly sure in the past video I said I won't pick up small amounts of money. I this looks like a room. There should be a trap entrance to the right, I think. Or maybe here. Should be fairly obvious by the shadows. There. Not that, not that I actually noticed anything unique about it. I wasn't really paying attention to the wall. Just pretty much clicking the clicking the walls where it usually is, which is pretty much on those that area. Put the chest. Put the chest. Cast a spell. Pick up some arrows. Probably sell some of those arrows later. Maybe I should just drop some arrows. I think I'm not gonna pick up any more arrows. Screw that. I'm gonna. I am surely gonna pick up more arrows. There's never enough arrows in this world. I love arrows. I do. I do like how. Do like how medium XL handles it. Like you have a griver, and you don't have to have to. You know, you have never actually have to add more arrows to it. You just have unlimited arrows, and then those quivers can be like rare quivers and match quivers. And pretty much, it's like a, it's like pretty much a shield, except that it's like. I think it's like how Path of Exile does it. I haven't um, played it like a. I've seen it. I think it's how Path of Exile works. Like your quivers can be, you know, special, and they have unique attributes, and you don't have to like refill them. But like in Diablo 2. I like I like that system. More so than the way it is now, because this is following vanilla Diablo 2 arrows. I'm not. I don't really like it. Once you once you get used to having infinite arrows, you don't want to go back. I picked that up. I don't think I had to pick it up because I have. Yeah, I would pick it up if it was a higher um, if it was a higher level like a normal type. Let's kill you guys, please. Should be someone there. I swear I saw a skeleton there. Guess I didn't. I guess I was looking at the wrong place. Suiko is still alive after all this time. Find the kitchen level three, and should be some enemies. Maybe not. There is a power fragment though, that's always nice. And another chest. Full of stuff I don't need. Shit, come on. Stand still. Two of us doing a great job killing everything though. Fantastic job! 
Especially when the AI is so dumb and just walks into the frog. There is a galaxy dress there. That's nice. I will not equip this yet though. I, I'll wait for ya. There's an enemy in here. I could tell because, you know, Ellie was shooting in the, at the wall. Didn't actually realize it myself though. It's a lot of money. Not real. I, it's a lot, probably a lot for my character though because I'm so, I think I have a minus 75% yen. Which kind of sucks. I do, I do rely on yen for gambling needs. To get my, to get certain items I want. Just, just, I, just, I already, I said it, what I use gambling for before, but I'll repeat it again. I'll repeat it again, basically I use the gambling system in the Apple II to pretty much just randomly, just to just basically have constant um, inventory so I can get like high level equipment and then just turn into a rare if necessary. Much, much more reliable than, you know, getting what you want from uh, enemies because then you have to go out and actually kill stuff. At least that way you can just stand there and, you know, just keep clicking. No need to kill. The killing stuff would try clicking too, but it's a lot more, e it's a lot more relaxing. Maybe, maybe dull for some people. If you just stand there, clicking the, clicking the gamble button, leaving the, leaving the shop and then doing it again. Until you actually see the items you want. I don't think if those shots were hidden. That kind of sucks. Strip Ruby, I'll pick that up. I, I think I picked up something I don't want. I just, why was why did I have this again? I don't remember. I don't remember why I picked this up, to be honest. It's nothing it's not good though. Not good at all. Okay, I, I kinda of got scared there. I mean I, I forgot I actually forgot I was actually thinking deeply for that moment and I forgot I saw it and I suddenly saw the frogs and I can't say I have the most fondest memories of those frogs. Not fair. I'm, I'm close to leveling up though, so that's nice. That was frogs. Ugh. Horrible memories of death. I'll return. I see enemies here. Ah, oh, come on. Picking on enemies are hard, so I'll just hold shift. Like I said I was gonna do it before, but I always seem to. I seem to forget a lot. I'm a very forgetful person. Though I do, at least I remember what build I'm trying to go for. That's always nice to remember. You are dead. You gave me an only fist. Okay, this is dead. End. Maybe in the maybe in the somewhere over here. Maybe potentially. There's a lot of enemies here now. They're gonna be dead soon. Let's shoot this. Shoot them all. They'll be dead soon. 